Squish cutie. Mwah, mwah. Come on. You can sit. You can sit. Mommy's got to start her show. No, no, you got to sit. Yes. You got to. Oh, I started already. Oops. <laughs> well, let's get the chat moved over. No, no, let's get the chat popped out. That's it. And moved over just in case anyone shows up to ask questions. And um, sorry, I uh, <laughs> I have a cat bugging the crap out of me. Anyway, um, hi, this is Crazy Aunt Julie. I am currently doing audio drama editing and um, pulling up all my stuff. I have to say, last night I had a really, really good brainstorming session with Ray, who plays Ken, uh, in the current show that I'm currently editing, which is Fatal Girl, um, to figure out what I want to do with the missing episode. And uh, the missing episode in this case is... Did I do that? Um, the missing episode... What what happened is I've written scene uh, written season two, and I've been going through what I'm doing in this particular live stream is, um, editing up scenes from episode one of season two, and this is going to be going on for a long time, and I'm sure it is thrilling, um, because uh, it's me doing the same stuff pretty much every time and talking about stuff. So you gotta like my voice or be I don't know really interested in Fatal Girl, which isn't impossible, of course, and, or just really like my style of editing or something. But anyway, the upshot of which was we, we had a really, really good brainstorming session because I had years ago, now, now it's been about five years since the last time I edited up an episode. And so, um, it's been, it's been, I, a lot of things have sort of wandered out of my head and a lot of things have, um, I didn't write down as much as I should have and all that sort of thing. So, you know, he was able to remind me of some of the stuff I talked about back then and bring back vague memories of, oh, that's right, that character, I totally forgot about that one. Because, you know, this is what it always tells you. I, I would always counsel people, even though I don't do it all the time, to always, always write down every idea. Don't assume you will remember it. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of ideas in my head. I have a lot of story stuff going on and I still don't remember all of it. I mean, that's probably why it's because I have too much, but, um, always write stuff down, at least make notes. But yeah, the, the, the upshot though, I had previously, I had scripts for, uh, episodes one, two, three, four, and five. And I decided that I needed actually to put in a script between three and four rather than put a six on the end. Because I wanted to end the season with this big party, but it just wasn't gelling. And the fifth script is a very ultimate script, so it should be a season finale. So I moved the fifth one to six, the fourth one to five, and then I put in a new four. But I was trying to figure out how, because I have to bridge this gap. It's harder to write something that carries everybody from the previous episode to the next episode than it is to write something that just has to carry on from a past episode. I got to get everybody from one side to the other without having to change too much. Because ep episodes one, two, and three, I've got all the main characters recorded. We do need to do a few retakes because there's stuff that I got to put in there. But in general, it's... I, I, that's all set. I can change four and five because they haven't been recorded. Well, four has, but um, I can change it if I need to. And anyway, so I'm excited and it had to, had to have a coherent story. I had to introduce a couple new characters who I wanted to have now rather than later. And I had to, um, you know, so there's just a lot of different things going on that, that became interesting. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do that. Anyway, so it's like I have to introduce Hyde Stalker and several of his relatives because Hyde's going into the hospital and everybody's coming to visit him or sending him things. 
he's just going in for a date procedure, but you know, it turns into a big old thing. And uh, <laughs> it's actually a, a key event because it's pissing off a lot of his relatives. Anyway, uh, as I, 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 that's all totally beside the point. What I'm actually here to work on is this show. Now, you may have noticed I have, while I was talking, I say this into a new file. As I say, anytime I'm going to start doing catastrophic changes, changes that I cannot undo once the document is closed. Because remember, in Audacity, you have a lot of undo capability. It's not infinite, but it does undo back a lot of stuff. The problem is that once you close it, when you open it again, it's it's it zeroes out all your undos. You cannot undo anything done before it was closed. And that is the way it works. Where are you? My cat's still bugging me. There he is. My girly cat will sit on the back of my chair and just bug me from there. And But he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to sit still. He's one of those cats that got to be petted while they get petted. Got to walk around while they get petted. Dumbass. So anyway, um, so now that I've saved it over, now yesterday what I did was I edited up a couple of monologues. This is one of them. This is Ken's monologue. And I put in the reverb here. So if we listen to this. If only they would take me seriously. Listen to me. Duh! I hate being the bean counter, the worry wart, the voice of reason. Uh, That's my show. No one ever respects mm. the good guy, the one with the budget specs. Why couldn't I be the rich bastard? So basically, um, I'm listening to see if my if I like the reverb set where it is. Please, I we just still, lost a whole year's solvency on here. down the line. I hate this uncertainty. Now, remember, I was trying to get that hum out of the background, and I couldn't, no matter what I did. So it's just going to have to live there. But we're going to try and cover that up with, with room sounds and things. Because this actually, it's not, it's not a static scene. It, because it is a minute and a half monologue, basically. I didn't want to have him just sitting doing nothing. So in my underlying stage directions, he's actually walking around the house. And I'm going to do that today. And this is going to show you how I move people. Now, I know other programs uh, are set up so that they can do a lot more sophisticated right-to-left movement and stuff, but I kind of like to do things the hard way because it's how I taught myself. And I feel like I have control over this. So what I'm going to do, let me get to, there we are. No, that's the wrong one. Ken has a couple of monologues, but this is his central monologue for himself. Um, I mean, this is part of Ken's ongoing, you know, concern. I mean, he is the caring guy. He's the nice guy. He's the one who everybody, you know, who doesn't have any powers, but he, he can talk to people. You know, he's he's got... All sorts of stuff he can do that people don't take very seriously. Or that he doesn't take very seriously. Honestly, it's really all him. Um, so, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, since I've, I've, I'm, I'm going to listen a little bit more and see what I think of this reverb. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet. See, but I could turn it way up. Well, with interest and penalties... We just lost a whole Oops, year's solvency up, on down the line. The <laughs> I, the I hate this one. uncertainty. Not being absolutely sure we'll be safe and have what we need. If only Ooh, they would take me Ken's seriously. Listen to me. Ah! I hate being the bean counter, the worry wart, the voice of reason. Uh, no one ever respects the good guy, the one with the budget specs. Why couldn't I be the rich bastard who never has to give a... See, now, I kind of like it a little bit higher. If I listen. Broke yet. But, well, with interest and penalties, we just lost... I wish I had a... I, I used to have a better reverb, but I'm going to stick with this one. I'm going to actually make it plus two, because that was where I had it that I liked. Uh, no. Amplify by two. No, that's there. One again. 
see there's one of those areas where if you accidentally keep sliding it you can you can double click on it get the box up and retype where you want to be zero is center and that helps so okay so now i've got it where i want it to be lost a whole year's solvency on and then i'm going to merge those and that basically turns it into one track the reason i want it as one track is the because i'm going to be moving him around the least the less tracks <laughs> that i have to move the better the less things i have to fudge around with because what i'm going to do is i want to keep his whole track together with all his effects and things so i'm going to layer in his effects here then i'm going to save it to a new file merge them all together so that they move around then put in effects that don't move with him and i know that's generally more more than you know you'd normally do but i Let's see. That's what I, I, I like to do. Let's see. This is... I could have been... Alice. Oh. On the other hand, I could have been... Could have been a doctor. Okay, so right about here is where I have one thing. Um, I did move my... Uh, ex, ex, ah, I have words. FX files into this directory so I don't have to go jumping around everywhere every time to get it all my fx and so I'm gonna go in here now I've done my own sort on effects so I've put them into categories that work for me and subcategories they may not be everybody's categories I mean that's one thing that is really personal is where you put your your how, how you sort because you can amass a huge pile of effects and forget where the hell they are if you don't put if you don't sort them somehow so here I've got cooking and eating and then I've got let's see there's a microwave door he's cooking a microwave he's making some tea or something not popcorn door oven oh I'm just opening them I'm not importing them darn it well That'll be fine. Let's see what they sound like. They'll all open in individual files. I meant to open them coming down from the, the, um, into the actual. Yeah, it's not your most modern microwave, but, um, there's one effect. The second one is that's just doors opening and closing. Don't need that one right now. And that's a big microwave. How big is that? That's big enough to cook a horse. Jeezy crazy. Okay, well I'm gonna use the first one, obviously. Um this one, I'm gonna turn it into mono first. So and if, for, if you want to know how to do that, it's, um, where is it? Now, where is it? That's so funny. I swear it used to be un under, okay. It's under mix now. They did rearrange these directories. And again, I'm, this is the most recent version of Audacity. All my other ones have older versions because my laptop and stuff have older versions because I don't like having to re-put in all of my shortcuts. Uh, I've mentioned that before, but for now, this mixes stereo down to mono. This will mix and render. That's what I did to mix two tracks together and mix and render to new track. We'll mix them, but won't actually change the tracks themselves. It'll add a new track that is the mixed one. So I like this one and I'm going to be able to work with this here. And, but you'll see, I just copied it, so I don't have to save it. It's not too bad as far as length goes, and it actually does go all the way toward, I'm going to solo that, to an ending, which then, you know, open it up, take it out. 
Okay, you know, that's that's actually a really good simple track. I'm going to low pass filter it because I want to take out a little bit of the, the higher sharp noises with that, I think. I mean, just to make it a little less obtrusive as it happens. So I'm going to move this because I really want that to be where the beep comes. Except I want something to happen earlier. So I think I'm going to lengthen the cooking time. And to do that, I copy part of it from the middle and then I paste it into the middle. Because you won't hear that. It just runs concurrently. And the middle is should be a fairly constant sound, and by pasting it in, it just lengthens the constant sound. So then I'm going to take the track and move it back so the ping still comes right about there. And see that, he, he's, I can also put in, say, hmm, let's go see what I have in the way of uh, dishes. I want... I want him to get a cup because then and maybe pour some water and that'll show us he's making tea or possibly noodles. Um, ba -ba -ba, what would be a good one? There's a lot of noises. Oh, whoops. I actually do want to import also rather than open them all in their own files. So there are so many different sounds and they really do make different, tell different stories. I mean, it's, it's all very easy to think open water faucet. I'm assuming that would be a <laughs> I needed that sound because he's going to pour some water. Again, I'm going to turn this track into mono. Now it doesn't mean, I mean, because with, for instance, with the microwave track, when it was originally opened, you could hear it was happening a little bit off to the left because the stereo track had it off center. That was one reason I mixed it rather than split it. I could have split it too, but the mix creates a, a fuller sound for that. And then, um, but I don't want it off to the side until I move it off to the side. So you can always take effects that are, that are stereo and set to one side or another of the soundscape and either split them and use the half you want or merge them and use it as a mono track. Because there's too many times when it just doesn't move right if you have to move it through the soundscape. If it's just a static noise that you want to go on for the whole show or just for one place and it doesn't have to move, then you can use it however you want. But I'm going to be moving some of these and I want them to be more flexible. So I'm going to op import again because I kind of want, I still want dishes. Let's see. Audio. Oh, we're still in appliances. No wonder I didn't, didn't move to dishes. Okay. Ceramic spin. No. Bowl and spoon. No. I mean, something like a ceramic bowl setting down would work, except I'm not setting it down. He's going to pick it up. Um, it doesn't, I mean, because you can't tell a bowl from a cup for the most part by sound. I mean, from a mug or whatever. So, let's see, crockery, dishes being stacked, glass clink, mm, glass bowl pickup might work. Let's see what that sounds like. So, I'll solo, oops. Let's for now go to, 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 to where was it? New tracks, tracks behaviors, solo button. I'm going to turn this, now that I'm experimenting with it, I'm going to turn it to simple for now. I didn't like simple for general usage because that's where if I click the simple, if I click the solo button, all the other tracks will go mon will go mute. Um, but for now, while I'm testing out effects, that's actually going to be really, really handy. And I'll come back and I'll change that again later. So... If I change that to solo, all the others turn mute, which is pretty cool in that case. There's times when you can use anything. Now, I'm actually going to just bring up the screen. So this is central. That's really the sound. Hold on. That is a terrible sound. Screw that. <laughs> 
there are times when you have to go through a number of things to try and find what you're looking for. And sometimes when you have to really think outside the box. And that's one of the things that once I do get into cup plate three, let's see what that does. Where where once you get once I get into more complicated things like monster noises and fight sounds where I really do reach outside the box for sounds because nobody nobody can actually record a monster. You know, you have to make it up. You know, that first one could work. I'm going to take it, put it mono. Yeah, if I don't have that part. That, huh? Did I not? Why is L not working? L is blank. Did you change that, you buttholes? Oh. Uh... What the hell? My shortcut key is not working, which is why I am pissing and moaning right now. Because L should blank it out. It's the key I have set to be my blanky noise, but I'm not even being able to open preferences right now. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Audio position. Is it playing? Oh, it's playing. See, that's part of the problem I'm having with it not scrolling the way I want it to, is that it's scrolling way off here still playing. I thought I'd hit stop. The only reason I noticed is because these numbers were spinning. And I'm like, why are those moving? Oh, it's still playing. You, it, with every other prior version, it would be slapping through screens while it did that. But no, I really, really hate it right now. I need to, I want it to go back to the way it was. Because what I want it to sound like is just a simple, like he's kind of grabbing it off the shelf. It's not perfect, but it'll work enough to just create that idea. So, I mean, and this is, I know, and ultimately all of this is kind of silly because why is it still playing? I hate you. Anyway, um, all of this is kind of silly because I'm creating this soundscape that has absolutely no purpose. It's only there to be what Ken is doing while he's talking, while his mind is mulling this over. And therefore, it's, it's really got almost zero point to it, except that I want some business going on because I don't want him... To, to, I don't want it to just be a two minute monologue or a minute and a half monologue with nothing else. It's just like in movies, you know, you're always told don't just do a, a, a huge monologue. Always have, oh, they moved that to the mute unmute to over here. Moon. I mean, so listen to this so far. We'll go through that first part. Hmm. <sighs> Well, we're not broke yet, but well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. I hate this uncertainty. Not being absolutely sure we'll be safe and have what we need. If only they would take me seriously. Listen to me. Duh! I hate being the bean counter, the worry wart, the voice of reason. Ugh. No one ever respects the good guy, the one with the budget specs. Why couldn't I be the rich bastard who never has to give a... Dang. Hell, if Chioko had never been left with us, I probably would be. I could have been a doctor. Been well off, made my father proud. He always wanted me to be a success. And at this point, then, I like this. I'm going to shorten up the water because that's a lot of water into one mug. I mean, if you, if anybody who's ever done water would know that, but it also doesn't sound like it's going into a mug. It sounds like it's just running, which I might leave or I might not. I might, I might have to deal with that a little bit because it, it it's, it's something that most people are not going to question 
but sometimes people will. And that's one of the things that's kind of interesting is that there are a lot of things you can do without, I mean, and people just won't notice. And then there's a lot of other things that are going to get you, that are going to annoy people. No, that's more like, that's something else. I mean, that it, it's so funny because what I do, I try to make things realistic to a point, but I'm also willing to let it slide past some point simply because um, people won't notice. They'll just let it pass by, and that's fine. I have no problem with that. I'm trying to figure out where I might drip. No, I don't need that. Cooking appliances, crashes, dishes, eating food prep, mouth packaging tea. See, I have water noises somewhere else as well. And then some things that haven't been, all of these that haven't really been sorted. Um, da, da, da. There were a couple of different sites that would give away free effects every week or so. And so a lot of those came from there where I just would pick them up and then pop them in to the general directories without really moving forward with it. Didn't I have water noises in here? Let's see. Why does that, oh, no, that's still in, we're still in the home noises directory. See, my, my, my big directory is like water noises. Let's see, bath bubbles, buckets and pouring. Eh. Water, bathtub, sink, washing and shower, not what I want. Because if you think about it, when you pour water into a cup, it has a different sound to it than when you just have water going out and I might be able to fake it and it's like why what kind of point is there for that people won't notice but it kind of does let me see here water movement water sprays water hose ring water no okay uh well first off I'm going to volume this down because it's really loud as far as I'm concerned for this track it doesn't have to be I mean, because this is all really in the background of Ken and we don't want to overwhelm his speech at any point. So if I go through and unmute them all again, oh, and I want to put a little space here now. Now that there's stuff going on, I can space some of this out a little bit more to, to sort of, because he's thinking while he's moving, he's interacting with his environment. So... Hmm, well, we're not broke yet, but what well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. I hate this uncertainty. Not being absolutely sure we'll be safe and have what we need. If only they would take me seriously. Listen to me. Duh! Okay. Um, to make what I want, let's see here. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to, what is the sound I want? See, this is where you have to start, when you when you start to alter effects, it, it really comes down to it, figuring out how you want it to sound and then figuring out how to get it there. Now, I mean, I'm sitting here thinking about what it sounds like when water goes into a cup. That's how much I'm, I'm really paying attention to this. Um, so I've got this, the water and the other one. And, and I don't want this all to start right on his side. I want to start a little bit afterwards, but I'll shift that in a minute. First, I got to work with these because what I'm thinking of is on the second track, I'm going to, oops, effect. I'm going to pitch it down. Maybe two. It shouldn't move it, but it kind of does. Well, we're not broke yet, but... And I'm not going to leave it there the whole time. I'm going to start it out. Blanket. Now, oh, silly thing. Derp. Again, I'm, my, my strange... No, my strange keys... Ah, that's down. That's fade out, not fade in. Dumbass. Okay. Well, we're not broke yet, but... And this may not work, which is another reason that I do it in a separate track so that 
it's easy to just delete if it's stupid. But I'm going to put reverb on that. I always high pass, I always low pass after I do reverb because this reverb track comes out very, very shiny, very harsh to me. Excuse me, and that just dulls it down a little bit, so. <sighs> well, we're not broke yet, but what well, with interest and penalties. It's not quite what I want. I'm, I'm just not going to worry about it. At this point, it's not worth the effort. There is a point where you just go, nah. You just go, people aren't going to hear it. So I'm going to move this down a bit so that this first click comes right after his opening. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet, but... Actually, move this a little farther away. I also think I'm going to put in a cupboard opening before he talks, because that'll help cover up the introduction of that that underlying tone and cupboards would be in wood noises. I know my sorting is, is everybody's sorting is always going to be their own, but I like keeping wood noises together. Cause if I'm thinking of, okay, I need like a shutter opening. I need a, a small window opening. I need a box opening. Okay. Then I go for a cupboard because you know, because you won't have necessarily have different effects for all those things, but you can have just a cupboard opening. Uh, drawers, wooden cabinet. Yeah, that works. I'm just going to use the opening side of it. And won't save it, but I will. Uh, now, as I said before, this is a trick. If you duplicate it, then you can be exactly where you want it when you paste it. If you just paste it in at the bottom, it'll always go to the beginning. And then you have to shove it around. That's why I'll duplicate the top track and then paste it over the duplicated part to get it just where I want it. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet, but... And I think I'm going to move that over so it covers that up more. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet. It's a little sleight of hand. I'm going to move that over a little bit so there's more time between grabbing it and running it. And then the other thing that I want to put in here is some footsteps, because I think Ken has to take a couple steps from the sink to the microwave. Again, this is turning into a busy scene for no particular reason, except it, it amuses me and I'm showing this off to people. So I'm gonna go into my feet directory and he's probably barefoot because he's at home or in slippers. I use a lot of slippers in here. So uh, I have a lot of different, uh, well, we'll just make him barefoot for now. And apparently 300 pounds. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this track. I'm going to high pass filter it first, which takes out some of that. Look, he lost 30 pounds. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to see what I can do with noise removal. What the f oh, I pushed new instead of noise. <laughs> Clever. Oh, no, I don't want to do that just yet. I need to get the sample first. Stop it. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to make it big and I'm going to cut out all the obvious noise. Now, a lot of times if there's an effect that I use often, then I'm going to save a cleaned version of it. If I have to clean it up every time, that's just ridiculous. I usually will do that so that once it's cleaned, it stays cleaned and you can see where there's a lot of stuff in here that this is just part of the sound that I just took out just the part that you couldn't see before ramping up and then going away and that's pretty common with everything sounds talking etc 
So that's why I do this. That's why I, what are you doing? Blow up stuff and constantly take out more because there's always stuff you can't see and that will fuck up your track. I mean, that is also a way to mess up a track when, say, creating a monster noise. I could have done a lot more, but I know that it's going to be roughly similar. And that I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the track anyway. I want to get rid of the place where they're at the, that end where it's not really there. So I've got 1.5 minutes and I'm going to copy it three times so that I have six minutes, six seconds, seconds, not minutes, my bad, and then use it as a noise removal. Get noise profile, 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 and then okay it. Now this isn't even a track I'm going to keep, but It sounds much more reasonable. And then I'm going to actually volume that down even some. So let's go minus six. As I said, you get a feel for what minuses are the right minuses if you do it enough times. Now, and then over here in this track, now that's what I'm going to use right here. And one of the reasons I did this is because he's going to do more walking later. Now, it's very easy to keep every single sound effect in its own track, but I'm not going to worry about it. I find it easier to work with it all on screen together rather than having to run bajillion things down the screen. Unless there's a reason. I know that, for instance, it's going to be super complicated and I might come back to it later and need the labels because I, you know, getting these labels. Now this one, it says mix because I used the duplicate to create this track. I can rename it and say that's the cabinet and the feet. But I mean, I'm not gonna have 700 effects in here. If I need to, I'm like, what effect is this? Oh, your solvency on down. Oh, it's feet, okay. Now, now I'll show you what this sounds like collectively in just a second. Here we go. Yeah, but. Well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. I hate this uns- Now, doesn't that sound great? I mean, that he just takes a little shuffle step to the side to get to the microwave. And then, after the microwave goes off, over here... I could have been a doctor. Been well off, made my father proud. He always wanted me to be a success. And no monsters, no danger, no panic, no random trips to strange places, no Chioko, no hide, no Alice. Huh. On the other hand, if there wasn't Alice, if I didn't feel this overwhelming wish to be with her, to look after her, I could have found something better, something healthy. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring the footsteps back because this is where he's going back to his, his room. He's going back to the office. So I'm just going to let him walk for a while. And I can paste him in and then figure out, you know. Uh. On the other hand, if there wasn't Alice, if I didn't feel this overwhelming wish to be with her, to look after her, I could have found... Now I'm going to move that a little bit because I don't want it to have, I don't want it to break up that moment. So. Oh, Alice. Huh. On the other hand, if there was. I'm actually going to give it a little bit more time here too. And this is dicey because I've still got that background noise I'm not liking, but I'm going to just go ahead and run with it and hope it's not huh. too horrible. I'll Wait a minute. I fucked up the voice somehow. There's a breath in there. Uh, on the other hand. So I don't want to use that, but I do need. Okay. I needed to get some sound with the, the noise, but not with the breath. And paste it in, so. I'd. No. Alice. Uh. On the other hand, if there wasn't... 
Yeah. I'm going to move this so it happens right after he says, on the other hand. That's when he, he's getting motivated again. He starts to move. On the other hand, if there wasn't Alice, if I didn't feel this overwhelming wish to be with her, to look after her, I could have found something better, something healthy. A woman who would have been appropriate. A nice, pleasant, pretty woman. Someone who could cook and... Now, I don't want... To, just, their house is not this big. But... The sound that I want at this point is... I need a door opening and closing. So let's go to the doors. Eh, this place has really gone to the doors. Now, doors are under wood noises as well. I mean, it was as easy a way to 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 uh, classify things as anything. So what I really want is a door that opens and closes because I want it to be the same door. And it has to be an indoor door. I'm not going to use like a vault or something for his, his little home office. So household door closed, wooden door open, front door is opened, cheap closet, squeaky door. Somebody can't spell creaking. Um, and a lot of these, as I... Door, front door, no. Cabinet open and close. I should have been under cabinets. Got sorted by mistake. Um, sticky frame open, large close, large open. Latch hatter, sure. Hatch ladder, sure, that'll sound normal. Thin wooden door, medium distant. No, that sounds like it's a ways off. Okay, so let's go with maybe office door close and open. Let's see that. And now these are sounds I've used a lot. These are sounds that are pretty obvious, and I kind of like these. So I'm going to go ahead and take them both. Uh, cut that one. Paste it in here with this. Turn them into mono. Cut them out. And bring them over here. Because what I want is I want them to open a door and then I want it to close right after the nah to close out the scene. So, where's a good plan? Well, first off, I'm going to cut, break these back up again. They got, what you'll notice that a lot of processing, like, um, if you have different separate tracks, like, you know, that are separated like this is from this, on a s different separate pieces on the same track, if you run a high pass filter, if you run certain other functions, if you change them from stereo to mono, it'll join them into one long piece, no matter what. And sometimes that's useful, sometimes it's a pain in the ass. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run my high pass filter, and I'm going to run a little low pass on this one, because it's a little noisier than I want. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So they're they're going to it's going to take away the the emphasis from them they'll still be there they just won't be as prominent now i want to figure out where i want to put the opening in here woman who would have been appropriate a nice pleasant pretty woman someone who could cook and keep house and i think i kind of want it right about here really come here so once I do that, I have to remove the footsteps around it because they are not appropriate at this point. You're still going to have to take a few steps through the door. But I also am going to want to, now that I've closed the footstep track, oh no, I didn't, yay, because I want one of these little shuffles. Because you don't just stop walking. Nobody just goes clunk unless they're marching and they've gotten the, you know, a company halt kind of thing. So you always have that little shuffle as the other foot comes to join the first one. And so what I want to do is make this larger. 
shove this together and see what happens. If you don't have an option of doing that, you can do it with something like this, is if you pull out the space between a couple of these. Keep house and would be div Can't hear it with him talking. It doesn't quite work, but it's still better to, to shorten up at least the last step before you do it, before you end a walking track. Because most people really do, you know, if you listen to yourself when you're walking, you don't just go step, 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 end. I mean, your other foot's hanging there. A woman who would have been appropriate. A nice, pleasant, pretty woman. I'm actually going to tighten up these just a skosh, because I want... A woman who would have been appropriate, a nice, pleasant, pretty woman, someone who could cook and keep house and would be devoted to good old doc. And I like having just a few steps here. I mean, he's going through the door, turning around to, to close the door. I mean, because if you think about what you do, and then he's just musing for a minute before he actually shuts the door. And then we go... Nah. And then here again, where do I want the timing? Do I want it afterwards? Do I want it on the nah? Because it's going to sound a little different. And it's a, it's a punctuation. It really is. Nah. 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 I kind of like that one. I don't know that I like all the bouncy reverb. I mean, the, the extra clinkety clinks that come on here. Let's see if I can get rid of some of that. I'm going to take out the louder ones and leave the last one. Oh, come on. Okay, let's try that. That's good enough. I mean, that's also going to be, that's the end of the scene. Music's going to come in at that point. Blah, blah, blah. Now, so let's listen through the whole thing. It's two minutes of just listening to this. And we would grow old. Hey, 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 that's not the beginning, you silly old thing. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet. But, well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. I hate this uncertainty. Not being absolutely sure we'll be safe and have what we need. If only they would take me seriously. Listen to me. Duh! I hate being the bean counter, the worry wart, the voice of reason. Uh, no one ever respects the good guy, the one with the budget specs. Why couldn't I be the rich bastard who never has to give a... Dang. Hell, if Chioko had never been left with us, I probably would be. I could have been a doctor, been well off, made my father proud. He always wanted me to be a success. And no monsters, no danger, no panic, no random trips to strange places. No Chioko, no hide, no Alice. Huh. On the other hand, if there wasn't Alice, if I didn't feel this overwhelming wish to be with her, to look after her, I could have found something better, something healthy. A woman who would have been appropriate, a nice, pleasant, pretty woman. Someone who could cook and keep house and would be devoted to good old Dr. Sakamoto. And we would grow old together in pleasant contentment. Nah. And there's the end of the scene. And that actually works pretty well. I'm going to move these footsteps a little bit farther forward. He's hanging out too far in the doorway. Too long in the doorway. I mean, he can hang out on the inside of the doorway, but you don't open a door and just stand there. You might open the door, walk through, and then just stand there. And in fact, I'm going to take copy this little foot shuffle here and put it on the end of this as he turns around to shut the door, but then doesn't right away. And I'm cool with that. So we get this. It's a pretty woman. A nice, pleasant, pretty woman.
pretty woman, someone who could cook and keep house and would be devoted to good old Dr. Sakamoto, and we would grow old together. And Yeah, so now this all is Ken's actions in the scene. This isn't the whole scene yet, but I'm going to save that. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to save it as is, and then I'm going to save it as, um, instead of moving, I'm going to call it uh, Ken's FX. And then I'm going to, because I want to use the moving name for the next one. So what I'm going to do is this will be the, this version, Ken's FX, will end up being the one I save as is. And then, oops. And then I'll go ahead and open up uh, movement, Ken's movement. Oops, I forgot all of these show up as recent files. So I have to open and I have to go up to where I'm at. Uh, out of the sound effect directories into the scene breakdown. And this is, oh gosh, which scene is this? This is scene... Oh, I've been working on it all this time, and I don't remember. 23, scene 23. And again, the reason I have them all in their own directories is if I didn't, I'd have just one huge directory with all of these things in it, and I'd be scrolling for days trying to get them connected up. It's much easier to have each set in its own directory. And I'll continue to do that. I mean, for instance, at some point, I may put in here a directory that says, you know, previous versions just to clear out a bunch of this crap in this directory so I don't get confused which version is the one I'm working on right now. Right now I'm going to open moving because it is, oh yes, this urban block file thing, in this case I am reasonably sure it's because of all these gaps. It thinks that there might be sound in these gaps. It's either that or it's all the stuff that I've moved or changed. It still thinks, it's like, oh, do you want us to hold on to these for you? No, I don't. You can just delete them. Oh, I don't want to show the log. It means nothing to me. So, I mean, it doesn't affect anything. Very, very seldom will that orphan block file message have any impact at all. The one time it will is if you do something wrong, like move the folder without moving the AUP file or, or vice versa, and then they can't find each other and you'll get orphan block files or you'll get something like that. So now this track is all of Ken's effects. I know that we're, they're all centered and they're all mono right now. And that's why I'm going to go ahead, highlight everything that's control a, and then I'm going to merge them all. So now all those effects are in this track. Now the advantage of that is that I've, I've already got them placed. I've got them balanced. I've got them where I want them. Now this track can move around and all of Ken's effects stay right with him. There's nothing more embarrassing than listening to an audio drama where somebody's voice moves off to the left, but their footsteps are still on the right. You know, This way I can't forget all of Ken's bits and move them with him. Okay. And I'm going to do a lot of moving with him because I want to. First, though, I'm going to create the scene in the kitchen. So let's say, and this is going to help a lot with that background hum because I'm going to put in some generic, I'm going to lay in a track bed, a bed of sound of, of tracks to, that will help totally get rid of that, essentially. It's still going to be there. We just won't hear it anymore. So one of the first things I want is, where is it? I think it's under machines clocks. I love ticky clocks. Ticky clocks are great because they tell you where you are. I cannot remember for the life of me if we had a ticky clock when they were in um, in season one in the kitchen. I'm just going to go ahead and put one in. Um, it's not, it's nothing, it's no um, clock fast, clock strike. I don't care for it to strike or anything. I just want a clock ticking loop. Just something really simple. That one's really, really obtrusive. I want something a little smaller. Uh, I think I use the carriage clock a lot. Let's see. I don't want the bell part, but I want the tick-tock part. Mm, no, there's too much bell in that one. 
uh, I will use them. I use that one usually for a living room. And I mean, part of it is to identify where you are. Obviously the microwave and the sink are going to identify where he is. But also you'll see by the time I get to the end of this, one of the reasons I want the clock in there. Clock chimes clock fast. Carriage clock, carriage clock, alarm clock. That's just, oh, that's just a ring. Don't want that. Um, let's see. Grandfather clock. Oh, more clocks. Grandfather clock, half hour, old alarm clock, pendulum clock, small clock, tip loop. Not quite what I want, but I can work with this one easier. This one, and it's clocks are slightly different when you're trying to merge sound from them. Now it's a loop, but I don't always trust them. First thing I'm going to do is turn it into a sync. Hello. Turn it into mono. I'm going to size it up. I'm going to high pass filter it because I can hear that underlying. And it sounds very, very shiny to me, so I'm going to low pass filter it as well. And I'm going to, I mean, I could even take, do some noise removal on it. Let's do that. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and volume it up first because, yeah, you're not going to get a lot of clear sound in this, no matter what you do, because the noise is constant. But you can hear that. You know that there is that. Ah, do I want to bother? I guess I don't care that much. How about I try and see if... Let's see if the current noise removal sample will actually work on it. It may not take out the right. I think it's going to be fine. Now, because I need it to go on for most of the scene, um, in theory, it is a loop, which means that if you paste it, you shouldn't hear any change in tempo. But there's something slight there. I don't like it. So what I'm going to do instead, and this is what I usually do for clocks because they drive me crazy otherwise. Stop that. Is I'll delete. Uh, what I'll do instead of that is I'll duplicate the track. I'm going to pull this over to overlap just a bit. I'm going to make it bigger and then make sure I line them up myself. And to me that it just makes it a lot easier to be sure. Now you got to make sure you get it at the right spot. So you want to make sure you've got a clear view of it. Now I don't think this is quite even no matter what, but now then I go like this. See, and then once I've got that lined up, I'm going to blank this one and that one and then merge the two tracks so that I don't have them louder, but they do go, they flow directly into each other. So now I've got that, and that is not long enough by half, but at least I can continue to do that each time I need to lengthen this. Uh, no, don't grab both, you greedy butthole. Okay. Oh, gosh. I haven't been watching the chat, but there hasn't been anybody here, so that's a big surprise. <laughs> As I've said before, I am doing this as much for myself as anything else. So it having no one here, I, I love answering questions. I would love to have questions to answer, but it's not going to stop me if I have no audience right now or for a while because I am doing this for me first. 
Okay, it looks like I've got it lined up. Let's see how it sounds. Nice. It's easier to do this when they're bigger looking. So it's sometimes best to line it up first, then to do like the high pass and the low pass and the volumes, then make them small and hard to see. Just as a future reference. It's what I would theoretically normally do. So I'm going to select all of it and merge it again. Now I've got 30 seconds. See, this takes a while to merge it all the way up, but each time at least. Now I don't want to have to scooch it all the way across the track, so I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to paste it from there and then see what I get. Pretty soon, I mean, each time it gets bigger by quite a lot by doing this. And then you go. Yep, that didn't work quite right. So I want to take this back a skosh. Still a little bit off. See, it just got louder, and that means that, you know, you're hearing twice as much volume. And then I can take and I can merge the tracks. And I mean, this is the kind of thing again, where I would save it when I was done because I don't want to have to go through all of this crap again. And I probably have it saved somewhere just because I've done that in the past for a lot of things. And two minutes is all I really need. It's well past what I need because Ken's speech is, is just under two minutes long. But I'm going to go ahead and make it all the way up here to two minutes. So, pardon me. Move this one over. Get those lined up. And all this, like, fine-tuning. All the fine-tuning stuff, it becomes so much easier after you've done it 450,000 times, you know? It's, I mean, it looks like I'm just like, oh my god, she must be so good. I'm not, yeah, I am. But it also, a lot of it is just practice. So now I can copy this whole track back over to this one. Okay, now, in the kitchen, I want the clock to be way over to one side. Never put things 100%. Never go past 90. And the reason for that is 100% left is this. You don't hear it in your right ear at all. And that's not realistic because no, unless you have hearing issues, which of course is very possible for a lot of people, you never hear anything only in one ear. Sound goes around your face and in the other ear as well. And so that is wrong and it doesn't sound right. Now, 90% is, you know. Huh. Well, we're not broke yet. I'll usually keep it over at 80 or something. And I'm going to probably take down the noise. I'm going to listen to it compared to his voice. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet. But, well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. I hate this uncertain... Hmm. I still don't like that clock. Let me see if I have another clock saved somewhere that I like better. <laughs> it's an old alarm clock. It's a small clock, too. Put it up, stand the tower clock. What's this clock sound like? Not what I want. I'm not looking for bells or whistles. <laughs> Let's see. What's the grandfather clock? Clean. Oh, I cleaned up the sound. Let's see what this sound is like. Again, this is one where I did save it. Oh, I don't want it with reverb. I swear I had a better clock track somewhere that was just tick, tick, tick. You know, like more like just a, you know, like a, like a clock you'd have in the kitchen. Um, well, for the moment, I'm going to leave it with what I've got. Hmm. 
Well, we're not broke yet, but well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. Now, this clock will just stay over here for now, but, um, and I'll move that up because that is going to be static. Now, I have this set at minus eight, so I'm actually going to volume this down. I'm going to go down 10, and then I'm going to put this back to center at zero. And that way, I don't have to worry about that slider getting moved by mistake, because I do that all the time. But the clock is still there. <sighs> now, the other thing that I would put in here, or I could put in here, is, of all things, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, uh, home noises, kitchen, fridge. Because a fridge makes a sound. That is a very, very noisy fridge. <laughs> that's an industrial fridge. Screw that. Well, okay, that's the only fridge I got the noise for, but I can take that. See, now this is a noise that I would use for like weird machines and stuff too as part of the mix because a lot of machines are going to have a buzz of some kind if they're powered. But I'm going to high pass filter it. And I'm going to volume this. Wait, where was the volume at? Ah, oh, phooey. Cancel. Volume 33. I'm going to take it down by 10. That's still annoying as hell. I might take it down by 10 again. See, now here's a noise that is totally going to cancel out Ken's noise. It still doesn't really sound like a fridge anymore to me, but if I take that and put it again in the background here, and move it like Move this also off to the left. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet, but well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. I hate this uncertainty. See, now that totally cancels out the buzz in Ken's track, and therefore we're, we're here, we'll, we'll hear it as a separate thing because it's because uh, that track is off to the side and it, it, it overcomes Ken's buzz and it doesn't sound as bad. I mean, even over here where it was kind of bad. No Chioko, no Hyde, no Alice. Uh. On the other hand, if there wasn't Alice, if... See, and that gives it, it lets his speech not have to deal with that and I don't have to clean that up. So that's a very, very valuable thing to throw in and I'm going to do that. Now, last thing, I'm going to move this track down again. I'm going to call this is the clock. I'm going to name these in case I have to come back to it because I may try to find a better clock and put it in because I just don't like that one much, but it's better than nothing. Um, and, that, and there is another reason for it too. Now I'm going to listen through Ken's track one more time and I'm going to mark a couple places where I want Ken to move. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet, but well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. I hate this uncertainty. Not being absolutely sure we'll be safe and have what we need. If only they would take me seriously. Listen to me. Duh! I hate being the bean counter, the worry ward, the voice of reason. Uh, no one ever respects the good guy, the one with the budget specs. Why couldn't I be the rich bastard who never has to give a... Dang. Hell, if Chioko had never been left with us, I probably would be. Now, I've I could have been a doctor, a little bit right there, been well off, to. made my father proud. He always wanted me to be a success. And no monsters, no danger, no panic, no random trips to strange places.
no Chioko, no Hyde, no Alice. Huh. On the other hand, if there wasn't Alice, if I didn't feel this overwhelming wish to be with her, to look at Alice, if I didn't feel this overwhelming wish Oops. to be with her, to look after her. Oops, what are you doing? To look after her. I could have found something better, something healthy. A woman who would have been appropriate, a nice, pleasant, There's pretty woman. Someone who could cook and keep house and would be devoted to good old Dr. Sakamoto. And we would grow old together in pleasant contentment. Nah. Okay, so... Pleasant, pretty Door woman. Open. Someone who could Move cook and went. keep house and would be devoted to good old Dr. Now, actually, I shouldn't have put the door in his track. The door is not going to move, but he is. But it's not going to be too bad. Okay, so here's where I want him to move. So I'm going to create another track. And I'm going to move this up so I have it handy. And I'm going to collapse these ones because they can just sit up there for now. Now here he moves just a little bit. And so first off, we're going to say he's at 40 left just arbitrarily. Come on. And he's going to move to 10 left. So what I'm going to do on the 40 left track is I'm going to fade it out. And for exactly that same interval, I'm going to fade it in on the next track. So I want to blank this. And once it's faded out, I want to blank. I mean, I can just delete the rest of this track. Now, this is why, as you may notice, I'm going to... I, I saved a previous copy of everything because this is pretty catastrophic work on a track. So I'm going to save that. Um, I'm not going to go on... Now, this is... He's moved from the sink. He moves to the microwave. And then he stands there for a long time. I contemplated having him pace back and forth, but that's just too much effort for it. And then here's where he starts to walk again, and he walks to the door. Now, the footsteps stop. Something healthy. A woman who would have been appropriate. A nice, pleasant, pretty So, we're going to have that part. I'm going to mark it just for convenience. And then duplicate this track. And... This one is going to fade out over that space as he walks away down the hall. Oh, there's another thing I could have done. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> this could get really... I mean, because I could also have his footsteps going into um, a little bit of more reverb as the hall becomes... Is the, the hall gives him more room tone. But I'm not going to do that because that would involve backing up a step and going back and, and, and redoing that before I did a save. I mean, I, and again, oops, you don't want to delete. You want to blank out previous because otherwise it moves. So that one is moving from there and we'll move him all the way over to 50 right, 60 right, 50 right. Eh, this is just a, being a bitch. And... I could move him a little farther as he steps through the door, but I think I won't. Let's see how this sounds so far. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do, though, is during this walk down the hall, the kitchen sounds are going to fade out. And then at that last part will be deleted. So he's moving away down the hall, and we're not going to hear them anymore. So let's see how that sounds. Hmm. Well, we're not broke yet, but well, with interest and penalties, we just lost a whole year's solvency on down the line. I hate this uncertainty. Not being absolutely sure we'll be safe and have what we need. If only they would take me seriously. Listen to me. Duh! I hate being the bean counter, the worry ward, the voice of reason. Ugh. 
No one ever respects the good guy. The one with the budget specs. Why couldn't I be the rich bastard who never has to give a... Dang. Hell, if Chioko had never been left with us, I probably would be. I could have been a doctor. Been well off, made my father proud. He always wanted me to be a success. And no monsters, no danger, no panic, no random trips to strange places. No Chioko, no hide, no... Alice... Uh. On the other hand, if there wasn't Alice, if I didn't feel this overwhelming wish to be with her, to look after her, I could have found something better, something healthy. A woman who would have been appropriate, a nice, pleasant, pretty woman, someone who could cook and keep house and would be devoted to good old Dr. Sakamoto, and we would grow old together in pleasant contentment. Nah. See how the movement enhances the scene? I mean, it also kind of, you know, plays up his his changes of mood. I mean, his, his, his discontent is during the microwave, and then he's talking himself back into it as he goes down the hall, because you know, he's going down the hall to his computer where he's functional, where he's the guy. You know, at the computer, he's the guy. Alice, if I didn't feel this overwhelming wish to be with her, to look after her, I could have found something better, something healthy. A woman who would have been appropriate, a nice, pleasant, pretty woman. Someone who could cook and keep house and would be devoted to good old Dr. Sakam. Now, as a final thing, what I might do is put something in between those two spots as a sound effect for the room he's just opened. It could be the computer, it could be some music playing on the computer, something, just to link, just to, to show that this is a new room. And uh, I, mean, I may consider that, but right now I think we've done quite a lot for this scene. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've run over a little bit again, and I am out. I'm sure you're tired of listening to Ken. I'll make sure we do a different scene tomorrow. Bye.